May Company California was a chain of department stores that opened in 1881 and closed in 1993. Thank you for your suggestion. Ship and Shore. There's a new look in Kiana's shirt dressing. Prettier, softer. Ship and Shore. There's a new look in Kiana's shirt dressing. Easier, freer. Ship and Shore, color to color, print to print, with Kiana pants and skirts, for your kind of feeling, your way of looking. Sensuous always. See and feel the Ship and Shore Kiana collection at all May Company stores. May Company California was established in 1923 when May acquired A. Hamburger and Sons, Inc. In 1881, he went to Los Angeles and founded a business, A. Hamburger and Sons, operating as The People's Store, which became the largest dry goods or department store in Southern California, catering to the working class customers. Asher, his sons Moses, David, and Solomon, first opened the store on October 29, 1881, in a 20 by 70 foot room on May Street near Requena Street, and was originally known as The People's Store. In 1882, only a year later, hamburgers moved to 145 North Spring, in a space of 46 by 100 feet. In 1899, hamburgers renovated and took over the entire Phillips block, all four floors plus the cellar. The space officially opened on June 1st, 1899, and the store claimed to at the time have three and a half acres or 150,000 square feet of floor space and to be the largest retail store in the Western US. By the start of the 20th century, A. Hamburger and Sons had outgrown its Spring Street location, which had 520 employees working on five floors. The Hamburger family decided to build a much larger store at the southeast corner of Broadway and 8th. Construction started in 1905 with the grand opening held in 1908. This location, which was also known as the Great White Store, was the largest department store building west of Chicago at the time and would eventually become the flagship location for the May Company California. At the time of this opening, the store could boast of having one of the first escalators on the west coast, several restaurants, a drugstore, grocery store, bakery, fruit store, meat market, U.S. post office, telegraph office, barber shop, a dentist, a chiropractor, a medical doctor, an auditorium, an electricity and steam power plant in the basement that was large enough to support a city of 50,000 inhabitants. The sheer size of this building reminded me of an aircraft carrier, a floating city, so to say. The building also housed a private volunteer 120-man fire brigade, 13 acres of retail space, which was about 482,000 square feet, larger than all of the department and clothing and dry goods stores in the city, and 1,200 employees. On March 31, 1923, the Hamburgers sold their store to the May family of St. Louis for $8.5 million, which is about $143 million today. Thomas and Wilbur May, sons of the founder of May Company, were sent to manage the former hamburger store. The old hamburger store was officially renamed the May Company in 1927. To keep pace with the extreme growth in population within Southern California during the Great Depression, May Company opened the first branch store in 1939 on Wilshire and Fairfax. The building cost over $2 million. After World War II, a second branch store was opened on October 10, 1947, along Crenshaw Boulevard at the northeast corner of Santa Barbara Street, now Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. The store would later be integrated into the Broadway-anchored Crenshaw Plaza, directly across the street to the south. 
From 1952 to 1992, May opened stores across suburban Los Angeles and Southern California. More than 40 stores opened across the Southland. Most notable ones for me were the ones at Brea Mall, Santa Ana, Moreno Valley, Westminster, the City Mall in Orange, Riverside, Montclair, Costa Mesa, Whittier, Buena Park, West Covina, and Crenshaw. During the early years of the Southern California May Company, California, they were also a developer of some early nearby shopping centers and malls which grew around the initially standalone stores, with the Crenshaw location being the first example. During the 1980s, the parent corporation tried to replace the iconic Wilshire store for several years by getting involved with the mall development at Farmer's Market. The development that eventually became The Grove at Farmer's Market was delayed for nearly two decades. On October 17, 1992, May Company, California's parent, May Department Stores announced the merger of May Company California with its sister company, J.W. Robinsons. The merger formed Robinsons May, thus ending the May Company California existence. It was also announced that the Wilshire store, along with the stores in West Covina, Buena Park, Santa Ana and San Bernardino were scheduled to close by the end of January of 1993. Robinson's May remained a chain from 1993 until 2006 when Federated took over May Department Stores Company on August 30th, 2005. Robinson's May was dissolved with some stores becoming branches of Macy's while others were sold, closed, or transformed into branches of Bloomingdale's. Robinson's May had 45 stores. If you'd like to know more about JW Robinson's, check out my other video. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.